so here I am in Affinity Designer 2 and I'm just going to do a very quick um, demonstration of how to put Natalie's dolls together. So from here I come over to my left hand menu and there's the place tool. So if I click that, thinking about it, uh, I go to where my dolls are saved, go to this one here. Um, so then I've got everything saved in folders. So when you download Natalie's designs, just make sure that you um, right click on the zip file and extract all, and then they should be in a folder like this. Um, so I'm going to click on bodies first. I'm going to choose the body that I would like, and I just double click it. And I can double click on the page and I can drag it to the middle. I come back over to the place tool, I come back out of bodies and I now want to choose the hair so I choose the style of the hair that I would like so say I want shoulder length, say I want black so I just double click there, double click on the page, move it at the top now it doesn't matter if it's not exact at the moment because I'm going to show you how to align them in just a second. Uh, say I want her holding the beach bag, I come back to the place tool and I scroll down and here is the beach bag. I can just double click. So I can just put everything on my canvas to start with. And if, for example, you have your hair below your body, the layers panel is over here on the right hand side. So you'll see at the bottom, I have the body, then the hair on top, um, and then I have the beach bag. But if, for example, you had the hair underneath the body or you wanted the hair under the body just select it in the layers panel and you can either drag it to the bottom like this or if you wanted to move it forward a layer you can come up to the top menu here and you can either move it right to the front or you can move it forward one layer and what that's going to do is move it in front of the body again if I then want to add the beach background, I will just come to the place tool. Here's the A4 background, I'm just going to double click it, double click on my page. And you can see in the layers panel, the beach background is now right at the front. I've got the beach bag, the black hair and the body below it. So I could drag it to the bottom in the layers panel, or I can just come up to the top and move to back. Okay, now to get everything centralized, so I've got my A4 background here. It's going to come up to the top here to alignment. Align it to the center of the page, align it vertically in the middle of the page, and that fills my space. Natalie automatically designs things um, at A4 size. Okay, and then if I select, so I'm going to select the body. I'm going to hold down control and I'm also going to select the black hair. Holding down control, I'm also going to select the beach bag. And then back on the top menu again, I'm going to align them all center and I'm going to align them in the middle and then they're all aligned. They are all together, so if I were to move them, because they're all selected, they will all move together. If I want to be able to do that without having to um, come in here and select them each time, on the top menu there is a group button. So I can group them and then you can see it's a group in the layers panel. I just click on the arrow and I can see what's within the group. And then if I want to resize it, I can just come to the corner and I can resize. Now, when it comes to resizing, it's just worth noting down here in the bottom right hand corner, I have my lock aspect ratio on. So that means as I pull out, it also goes up. So it keeps the, um, the design as it should be. It doesn't stretch it. If I were to turn that off and I were to start moving around, that's not doing it here. <laughs> it would mean that you could 
go out wider and taller, but this seems in both <laughs> to be doing it as it should be. Uh, so that's your design. And then if you need to just change your hair color, you can just come in, highlight black. So that's the black hair that we are, um, that we've inserted. If I come up to replace image at the top here. I can then choose the one that I want to replace it for. So say I want blonde, long, straight hair. It's automatically in the right place for you and you're good to go. And so then from there, don't worry about this blue line. This is just showing my borders um, on my page. Um, if you go file, export, and then just choose whether you want it as a JPEG or a PNG. The main difference is, is that PNG is um, a clear background where a JPEG is a solid background. Okay, and then you can just click export and decide where you would like to save it. So I hope that helps. I do have um, other affinity courses over um, in the Facebook group EC Small Business. Um, so do head over um, and get some more help and support.